In addition to those steps, what else can you do to prepare for our next natural disaster or emergency? ABC 4's Brittany Johnson has details. Disasters, they don't have a calling card. The Red Cross says Wednesday's 5.7 magnitude earthquake in Magna serves as a good reminder. The time to prepare is before an emergency strikes. Be informed, know what the risks are, know what's going on, and, uh, and basically have situational awareness, know what the risks are that, that are associated, and also have good information at your fingertips uh, to know what to do before, during, and after an event. And when I say fingertips, I reference the Red Cross Earthquake app. It's got great information, real-time information, so that's an easy uh, resource to access. It is free, and we encourage everybody to have that on their smartphone. Bob Carey is the program manager for the U Utah Division of Emergency Management. With schools under a soft closure due to the COVID-19 pandemic, he says now is the time to sit down together as a family and make a plan because it's not if another disaster will strike Utah, but when. What would you have done had school been in session? How would you go about getting your children? Uh, having contact people outside the state, uh, having a couple of weeks of, uh, of food and commodity that would sustain you keeping your gas tank half full all the time. No matter the situation, Red Cross Utah stands ready and willing to respond. I mean, day-to-day -day home fires is a good example of that. So when something like this happens, we're, we have a seat at that table of preparedness, emergency services. We're, we're very collaborative. We're, we're in partnership with a lot of agencies, something of this magnitude especially. So when, when called upon and uh, we get our marching orders and we play our role in these situations. I'm Brittany Johnson, ABC4 News. The American Red Cross has set up an evacuation center for residents displaced by Wednesday's quake. That's located at Valley Junior High School in West Valley City.